President Biden is signing a bill to speed up the delivery of weapons to Ukraine. It revives the Lend-Lease program from World War II. That allowed the U.S. to help arm the British to fight off the Nazis. President Biden is also now urging Congress to pass a new massive round of funding for Ukraine. He says he wants it on his desk in the next few days. CBC senior White House correspondent Kayla Tausche is live with that. Kayla. Jeff, good evening. President Biden deciding to separate funding requests from Ukraine from the politically fraught funding for COVID treatments and tests, making that decision this evening. And now we've learned from sources familiar with the matter that Democrats have raised their proposal to nearly $40 billion for Ukraine, higher than the White House's original $33 billion request. And the House of Representatives could vote on that as soon as Tuesday. This is the Pentagon says existing funding to arm Ukraine against Russia will run out in about two weeks. President Putin refusing to back down today, commemorating that victory day, the country's biggest military holiday, by reiterating his belief that Russia has the right to reclaim land from Ukraine and dismantle its nuclear capability. Top officials called the speech revisionist history at the White House and divorced from reality and said one element in particular was missing. What we didn't hear, not that we expected to, but what we should have heard was plans for how he's going to end the war, how he's going to move his forces out of Ukraine, uh, and how he's going to finally respect Ukraine as a sovereign state and nation that borders his, a nation that posed absolutely zero threat. That's what we didn't hear, and I think that's what, uh, uh, what he should have said. Meanwhile, heavy fighting continues in the Donbass region of eastern Ukraine. A senior administration official tells me lack of progress for Russia there could lead perhaps to a negotiated solution, but this official telling me that indication is still weeks away.